Hello everyone, today we are going to use a design specs and sensitivity analysis in Aspen Plus. So let me open a new template here. Uh, I'm going to change the units to metric bar. Okay, as a component, we are going to use only water. So if you are using only water here, you need to use steam mbs method so let's do the simulation okay first i'm gonna add a pump here then a stream as a feed then output let's say feed here and this can be two even this is pump So the inputs of pump should be 25 bar for discharge pressure. Okay. Then a heat exchanger should be here. Okay. And heat stream should be going into the heat exchanger so you can say heat here and a stream should be after heat exchanger you can say four why is four it should be three okay uh, heat exchanger one we can say for this let's run it oh wait we should do uh, put the inputs of the feed stream so this is 95 celsius and one bar 14,000 kilomol per hour and more fraction because we have only water it should be one uh, did i put no it should be zero bar for the heat exchanger okay everything seems good to me no no okay the duty of the heat stream should be 200 megawatt let's change the unit okay now we can run it i think okay let's see the all results of the streams so the last stream is 3 and the temperature of last stream is 400 something so I want to make it 360 so let's try this way we can change the total mold flow rates let's make it 15,000 and run it again then see the results so it is right now 300 something I want to make it 360 so for this reason I can use design specs let me show it to you let's say new we are going to change the uh, temperature of third stream so let's say D3 this should be stream war Okay, third stream variable should be temperature. Okay, seems good to me. This is the three. Target should be 360. The tolerance should be 0.1. In very, okay. This should be mold flow because we are gonna use feed stream. Component should be water. The lowest uh, mole flow rate should be 14,000 and the highest one should be 15,000. Okay, so run it again and see the results of streams. Okay, it is 360 right now. The mole flow should be, uh, which one is V? This one. 14,494 14, so let's 
put the other units into the simulation I'm gonna use two different turbines uh, pressure changers let's make a turbine one here one here and then one heat exchanger we are gonna use so this should be the input of the first turbine let's make it a bit closer turbine one this is turbine two and this output before this is the second heat exchanger for cooling process so I couldn't add I think yeah okay, this should be five and the last output stream should be one because it is actually closed loop so the one uh, should be equal to feed stream so that's why I'm typing one here okay so let me put the inputs of the turbines they should be isentropic discharge pressure should be five bar should be also the same did I select turbine for the first one yeah, or is this compressor this is still compressor okay they should be vapor liquid, liquid and the second one is the same thing okay let's put the inputs of the second heat exchanger temperature should be 95 celsius and pressure should be one bar and we need to add a heat as an output from the second heat exchanger this should be cool and the end point should be 95 celsius so we can run it again I think let's see the results right now so everything seems good to me where's the one okay 95 Celsius 95 Celsius one bar one bar cool flow rates are the same cool so let me put the works into the flow sheet okay this is the work one and this is the work two this is the work three and I need one mixture for this works this should be the first one, this should be the second one, this should be the third one. I didn't like it. Yeah. Okay, so work three, work two, work one, and total work should be output. So we can say total work. Okay, let's use the sensitivity analysis right now so let's new s1 is okay okay so this should be black war black should be turbine one variable should be pressure so where is it here okay start point should be two bar end point should be 20 and increment should be 0.1 
and define we should add here total work type should be work power and stream total work okay. so tabulate the first column is going to be total work and the second column should be total work divided by 1000 because I want to see the value in uh, megawatt as well I think everything seems good now let's run Okay, let me see the results. Okay, cool. Right now we are gonna plot the diagram. So I'm gonna select the x-axis, then y-axis. So for selecting x-axis, uh, which one should be x-axis? This one. Uh, Control Alt X, then this one should be the Y axis control out Y then for plotting control out P this is like an ad advertisement it's like <laughs> Nike <laughs> cool okay this is the uh, this is the correlation of the pressure and the total work so you can see the higher work is here when the pressure is 5.5 .5 bar so this is the uh, tutorial 3 of the book so I think everything is clear for you so see you next time thank you for watching